All right. A ton of you guys have asked for this, so I'm gonna try again. But before we get in the games, there were also a bunch of messages that looked like this. Look, I understand most people don't have maxed accounts. Actually, a very small number of people do, but let me help you quickly. These are gonna be the best brawlers in every mode and scenario that you guys wanna upgrade, so maybe screenshot these so you can save them for a later time when you're upgrading your brawlers. for a later time when you're upgrading your brawlers. So we're gonna start off with gem grab. There's basically two different roles. There's the gem carrier and then there's the lanes. But it's a little bit more advanced than that because there's regular lanes, tank and assassins, and throwers. So quickly, lanes normally counter tanks and assassins. Tanks and assassins typically counter throwers and throwers typically counter lanes. So if your teammate has a tank assassin, then you probably wanna match it up with a thrower so you can counter the lanes. If your teammate has a lane, then you probably want to take a tank or assassin so the other team doesn't go thrower and poop on your lanes. You get it? Next up, we have Brawl Ball, and Brawl Ball is a little bit more complicated because instead of there just being mids and lanes, you have goal scorers, lanes, tanks and assassins, throwers, and support. It's important to have someone on your team that's able to score a goal, but not more than one because these brawlers are usually very limited. So you normally want to have a goal scorer, a strong lane, and then either a thrower or a support to help make your comp well-rounded. Tanks and assassins are very similar to goal scorers, so those can kind of go into the same tier. You just want to make sure you have a well-rounded comp and not too much of the same thing because then you get countered by the the same thing for example if you take two tanks and assassins let's take bb and rosa for example someone can go shelly and completely hard counter your whole comp but if you only have one tank the shelly isn't going to counter everything it's only going to counter one single brawler next up we have knockout and bounty and this is pretty simple because it's all about kills and staying alive we have snipers lanes tanks and assassins, throwers, and support. The most important are going to be snipers, throwers, and support here. In bounty or knockout, you always want to make sure you have at least one sniper. So I would probably take something like Piper, Angelo, Nani, or Mandy as my main sniper. And then I would pair that with a thrower, usually Tick, Sprout, or Grom in these modes because it's a little bit more long range. And then you usually want to round that out with something that counters tanks pretty well. So Pearl, Daryl, Meg, Leon, something like that. You can also have a support type comp. So you can have a lane, a support, and a tank and assassin. So instead of playing sniper, you can instead have something like Meg, Leon, and Jean, which is totally acceptable. Next up, we have Heist. And Heist is a little bit different than every other mode because you have safe damage, which is by far the most important. Then you have lanes, tank and assassin, thrower, and support. Now, I don't really like support in Heist because Heist is all about damage. And all the supports I could think of was like Max or Angelo in this mode, which don't really do any safe damage at all. Colt, Colette, and Crow are definitely the best heist brawlers. They do a ton of damage on every single heist map and are very good there. Chuck and Melody are also really, really good. Now there are some lanes that are good at keeping control and also do good damage, such as Mo, Kenji, Amber, Piper, Nani, to name a few, even 8-Bit. And then obviously some maps are good for tanks and some maps are good for throwers. So you wanna have tanks that do a lot of damage like BB, Daryl, or Bull or throwers that do a lot of damage such as Dinah, Barry, or Barley. Last but not least, we have Hot Zone, and Hot Zone is a little bit comparable to Gem, where it's about control and just keeping an area. So we're gonna have a Zone Time Brawler, Lane, Tank and Assassin, Thrower, and Support. Now Support and Zone Time Brawler are kind of the same thing, but I would prioritize a Zone Time Brawler because obviously the objective of the mode is holding the zone. It's also very important to have a very strong lane, so Mo, Kenji, Gale, Jesse, Chester, Colette or Penny, any of these are really good. And then to pair it, you either want to have a thrower or a tank or assassin, depending on what the other team have. Moving on to our overall list, these are the five best brawlers for each classes. So we have snipers, lanes, tanks and assassins, throwers, and support. If you're playing a game of Brawl Stars, you don't ever want to have two brawlers from the same class unless it's a lane, because lanes are usually a little bit more well rounded. Two throwers, you're going to lose to an assassin. Two tanks, you're going to lose to a lane. Two supports, you're not going to do enough damage. Two snipers, you're going to lose to a tank or an assassin. You always got to make sure you have a diverse comp. <laughs> and this I also found really funny, but before we get into the first live game, I also saw this comment. And honestly, I was streaming the other day and I have the perfect example for you guys. Just like the first pick Dynamite, there's a solution for everything. And I'm going to show you guys a game that happened on my stream a couple days ago where this guy picks Mortis in Heist for whatever reason. Oh, wait a second. We can go. Oh my God. Um, so as you guys can see, this guy locks in the Mortis and we also have a Barry on our team. 
So I'm thinking in my head we have a thrower and I mean Mortis sucks in heist but we also have an assassin so now we just need some real safe damage and something that also counters tanks. So I went ahead and I picked Colette because this counters tanks, this gets me a lot of safe damage, and hypercharge brawlers are typically better than non hypercharge brawlers. Now obviously being a pro player does help when your teammate picks Mortis in Heist, but the game is not completely over and you have a chance, you just have to try your best to pick correctly. Bro, move up the map. Nope. Alright, we're so locked in. Nope. No, no, please, please, no! Oh my god, I got three hits on that? All right, hold up, we're locked in, we're locked in. I got four hits on that, what? Oh, the snipes? Oh my god! Please, no bear, please, no bear, bats him, yes! Guys, I'm so locked in, I'm so locked in. I'm so locked in, I'm so locked in, I'm so locked in. I am so locked in okay so this sam wants to do damage but he can't do damage as long as i sit right here i'm not letting him move up i'm not letting it happen Whoa. beautiful okay i'm one to hypercharge whatever oh my god Bro! All right. As you guys can see, players in ranked aren't very good for the most part. So if you believe you're a good player, get on that carry brawler, fill the role on your team that you need, and get to carrying. Fortunately for me, Colette was the correct pick. These guys didn't make any moves whatsoever to get to our safe, and we actually dominated these guys with a Mortis in Heist. Before we get into the games, by the way, I just want to say I stream every single day at the time on your screen right now. It's a lot of fun. We have hundreds and hundreds of people in chat either making jokes at me or each other, learning from the games, learning how to draft and how to play, and just having a good time. If you really can't make it out to the streams, which I really suggest you guys do, there is a section under the live tab of my YouTube that just has hours and hours and hours of ranked gameplay for you guys to watch. Now, as of now, I haven't really played the last day and a half, so I fell off a little bit. I hit 23 in the world. But let's get into some games and let's see what I can do. So simple stuff. We have first pick. This map is really good for throwers. So the best last pick thrower is Dynamite. I'm going to get him out of the way. So with how the draft stands right now, we have Crow and Surge. So Crow is going to be our zone time brawler and Surge is our anti-tank. And they have a thrower and a mid range, aka a lane. So what I'm going to do because we have two anti-tanks is I'm going to take Barley because we don't have a thrower to match theirs. My thrower also counters their Gale, and they can't go a tank last pick into us because we already have a Crow and a Surge, which are both really good into tanks. So to start the game, I'm gonna help my team out. I'm gonna give everyone a heal and go aggro. They last pick Squeak, because I guess they were afraid to go a tank into our comp, and that makes perfect sense. I'm gonna keep spamming heals at the start because the start is really important, and I'm just gonna try and flush them out and do my best to get the mid. Now we aren't exactly playing the absolute best, but we have a pretty good comp. I'd say it's better than theirs, so even if we're not playing the best, it does kind of take a lot for us to lose. Gonna get my super and a kill there, and I'm just gonna completely flush them out. I mean, they have such a bad comp against the Barley, I don't really know what they can do to me. These guys are getting the work. Honestly, the game just started and I already have a hyper charge. I still have two gadgets, so I feel like this game is basically already over. Gonna use the hypercharge. Holy hypercharge. All right. Well, the hypercharge just took everyone out on the map. This dude wants to 99 them. I'm not getting out of the zone, bro. That's gonna be game one. So again, I'm gonna spam all my gadgets to start this game. The other team's also kind of spamming their gadgets. So it looks like they kind of know what to do as well. But I like our comp a little bit too much. So I just don't think there's any way we lose. They're trapped in a corner. I think they're gonna stay trapped in that corner. This Gale is like fighting for his life. Oh, he made his way out. All right, that Gale is kind of dangerous, I guess. I'm going to move up this left side because no one's here. And that was honestly like the most damage I've ever seen a single surge shot do. Oh my God. I got hypercharged super. I'm just going to unleash it over there on that side. And it looks like it's going to kill everyone again. And I'm going to chain it back. Barley is so good with easy matchups, to be honest. I don't even know how you could lose. 
And there we go. Beautiful first game. Let's move on to the second. So again, it's a good thrower map. They have last pick. So I'm just going to get Dinah out of here because I don't want to face that last pick. They left Kenji open. So the smart thing would be to recommend my boy Raymond to go Kenji. And he only has it level nine, but maybe he'll give it to me and I can give him a brawler of his choice. So now it's my pick and our friend Diego has taken Macy and Raymond requests Surge. So usually when somebody takes a brawler for you and they request a brawler, you just kind of have to give whatever they want. But I don't think Surge is the best here because Surge and Macy are very, very similar in terms of what counters those brawlers and what they counter. So I don't love the comp, but as long as we have a Kenji, we should be fine. So these guys took last pick Larry, which obviously is a great pick into Macy and Surge counters both of them. So theoretically, this game should be hard. But again, I have a Kenji. So like, is it really going to be difficult? I don't know. Okay, maybe it will be. Oh, this guy is tapping on the Macy. Oh my God. Now Raymond seems to be stuck because there's a Larry here, but maybe I can just snipe him. There we go. We're going to be able to get him down and get my boy Raymond out of spawn. I don't know why this brawler exists. This brawler is way too good. No way I missed that. Oh, I'm so bad for missing that. I'm actually so bad. All right, so the game's kind of been a stalemate so far. Nothing's really happened besides me messing up that goal. But this Larry is super annoying for our comp, at least for the other two, not really for me. Well, I'm able to get one. Diego kind of wastes his hypercharge a little bit, but he gets a goal and two kills. So is it really a waste? And I'm just going to use my super off the bat because why not? All right. I did not expect to do that, to be honest, but we'll take it. Diego's going to get a kill. We're going to pass the ball up and I'm hoping that's a goal. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh God. All right. It is not going to. Oh my God. Is he going to score? Please snipe him. Please snipe him, teammates. Come on, Raymond. You got this. Uh No! All right, so we got to make some plays here. We got to figure this out. I just got my super. Only one hit, though. That's not very good. No! I keep messing up my gadget. Diego, go! Go, Diego! Yes! Diego is the go, and that is going to be a clean goal. First game goes to us. I'm going for a trick shot. I'm going for a trick shot. Oh, I should not have gone for that trick shot. I'm bad. Oh, I go down, but honestly, things are going pretty well for the team, so I can't really complain. Bang, and there we go. That is going to be a goal. Surely, please pass me the ball. Beautiful. Okay, I got super now. They're pushing up on me. I'm going to super here. I only got two hits. Oh my God, I got deleted. Diego's putting in a lot of work with Macy though, I have to say. Let's see if they can 2v1 the Larry. One guy goes down. Diego's getting pushed back. As I said, these matchups are really important. Like these two get countered by Larry and you guys can see the Larry didn't do anything special. He just counters and he put in good work because he counters. Okay, I probably shouldn't have auto aimed that. There we go, Raymond got level two. He wasn't able to stop the goal, but at least he got his level. That's really important for us. I'm only one to super, so I'm going to try and like get close, get a hit. I whiff my super completely. Diego with his hyper charge. He's going to go in. He's going to put in crazy work. I'm going to get a kill over there. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Yes, sir. Don't even worry about the pass. And that is going to be another win for us. Now, honestly, I played that really bad on Kenji. So GG's to my teammates. They played that really well. Now it's Undermine. And again, throwers are pretty decent on Undermine. So instead of Dinah, I'm going to do Larry because as you guys saw from the list earlier, Dinah is not really that viable on gem grab. It's not very good for control. Whereas Larry is like a beast with control. We have the option of taking Mo. So I'm going to suggest this guy goes Mo. Hopefully he listens because I do not want to face one. We have a Crow, which I think counters their mid. We have a Mo, which is a lane. So... I got to take a lane. I think I'm going to go with Lily because we're not really good into throwers as well as we're not overly good into tanks. And Lily is a really good assassin towards the mid and they can't really go throwers if I have a Lily. So for whatever reason, they decided they wanted to go Piper into Lily. 
And I'd be pretty mad if I was on their team because no way you go Piper into Lily. Like, what? So I'm going to use my invis and just run in a straight line and see where I can get. I found a nice little bush. Looks like that max found me. And I die, but I get my super. So to be honest, I don't think it really matters. There are some brawlers where if you die to get your super, it's honestly okay because you need those supers to make plays. And Lily is definitely one of them. Nice little team wipe by our team over there and we're winning 7-0. And now I'm just going to look for the Piper and I'm just like, what can bro even do? I don't know why he took Piper. That was very silly, but this should be a free win to be honest. That's a free kill for us. Going to transition to the bow. Get him. All right, Max. I'm not getting the Max, but I guess I'll go invis and go down to try and help our teammates. Oh my God. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, Piper, please. Piper, please. Okay, we should be fine. Right, team? I'm going to go get this Piper. Bo missed. That's a free kill. I love Lily. Lily is so fun and ranked, but I, again, honestly have no idea why they went Piper. Now, it's not like they can necessarily take a tank because we have Mo and Crow. But again, you just want to diversify your comp and make things really difficult on the other team. Same thing. Invis is going to sneak in a straight line, try and find them in this bush. There's one kill. There's two. Come on, Max. And there is three. Beautiful start for us. Now, again, it doesn't look like there's too much these guys could do. I'm just going to stand right here. Go for the Piper. Dude, Piper. Oh, Piper actually traded with me. So, I mean, good job, Piper. We're kind of stuck in our spawn here. So, I'm just going to go Invis, run into their spawn, and see what I can make of it. There's a Max here. How did Max block all three of those? I honestly have no idea, but we're able to get the kill anyways. Piper's going to curve me. Really nice play, I guess, but I don't think it's going to work out. Okay, I lied. It is working out. I got two invises, so I'm going to use them both to go up and try and make a crazy play here. I don't know where those are. I'm going invis. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Okay, there's one. There's two. Please! Oh my god, there's three. Please! No! Oh my god, not the bow mines. No. Okay, Crow is going to be able to get a couple. I think he got too many, though. He's going to be killed. The Mo has super. He's going to go for a play. He's going to get a kill. He's going to get another kill. Okay, so I need these gems. There's one. These are enough gems for sure. And we're out just like that. Dude, I love you too, bro. I love you too. Wow, okay, that was a pretty insane last game of the video, but that is going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know. And again, I will keep making these videos if it helps you guys out. Very clean little 6-0 and again in the video. It's not too hard, and we moved up to rank number 21. So obviously, a lot of it is just the draft and the gameplay. So if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back again soon. Peace.